Welcome to another episode of Modern Infrastructure Wednesday. My name is Aaron Cow. We just released the version 4 of the Plumy Docker provider earlier this month. The Docker provider allows you to provision any of the resources available in Docker, including containers, images, networks, volumes, and more. One of the most heavily used features of this provider is the docker.image resource, which enables Pulumi users to build and push a local Docker context to a registry as part of the Pulumi deployment. We've received lots of feedback from our community and as part of V4, we've made um, these following improvements. Number one, significantly improved performance, including reduced need for rebuilds. Two, build kit support, including cross-platform builds. Three, richer Docker build logs inside Pulumi IEC program output. And then four, Pulumi YAML and Pulumi Java support. For this episode, I've adopted the grocery list MERN application that my colleague Christian built for a blog post last year and uh, to a local Docker app. So here we have a Mongo database, uh, a Node.js Express backend, and then front ends React. Um, what we did here is these two, the front and back end, we containerized, and then the database we containerized, and we're all running it locally in Docker. So I cloned this repo. Um, so let's quick, quickly take a look at this code. Okay, so it's just a simple Docker MERN application, Mongo, Mongo Express, React, uh, Node.js. Uh, so we're using the uh, Pulumi Docker uh, provider that's, we're using version four. Uh, so we'll get some configurations and then we'll create a Docker network. And then we will uh, create an image from a Docker file. Um, Specifically, we have a folder called app down here. Um, uh, that has a back end and front end um, application. Uh, we're gonna, there's a Docker file here and we're gonna um, tell um, the Docker to build that specific Docker file. And then we'll use build kit as uh, part of the build process. Then we'll create a container from that image. Um, we use a, um, from here, configuration to container port, and then we pass it in the database URL using the uh, local Docker network. Then we're also going to use a um, Docker image. Uh, this is just a MongoDB community image. We're just going to build that and we're, we're, we're going to pull that and then we'll create a MongoDB container. And then finally, we'll just export the, the URL of the application. So with that, let's run a, let's run Plumi stack init here to initialize the stack. Great. Then we'll issue a Plumi up. Okay, so uh, six, six resources to create, network image, remote image, and two containers. So let's hit yes to create it. And it will start running. And you'll see here that the filter Docker logs during build and push will be displayed in an info box on the Plumi op. Um, okay, so that is done, and then let us go to the URL. And here's the Plume Post Grocery List app. All right, let's add some grocery list items for Plume Post. So, all right, crawdads. Some shrimp, some grits, 
some sweet tea. Um, actually, he got shrimp earlier, so we'll take that out. Then he bought grits as well, so we'll cancel that out. But yeah, this is just a simple Mern app, um, and it's storing everything in a local MongoDB uh, container. Okay, there we have it. Uh, we just used V4 of the Polymi Docker provider to deploy a simple uh, MERN application. Uh, you can learn more about this updated and improved Docker provider from Monica and Guinevere's blog post linked below. If you want to try out my MERN stack uh, local Docker example, you can find a GitHub repo linked below as well. Lastly, don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you like this video. That's it for today's Modern Infrastructure Wednesday. See y'all next time.